Hello everybody, this is me again trying to explain you something about the start of your work, the trellis, the first two rows of your, or the first row of your interlocking crochet project. I think this is very useful, it's simply to define what is your top of your work and what is your the bottom of your work, because when you do this, it almost looks the same that you know i just made my trellis this is my finish and this is my start at the bottom what i do simply to not mistake put a stitch marker at the bottom of my work then i always know which side is up and which side is down when the little stitch marker or where your work ends is on your left hand side and the start is on your right hand side it is the front of your work when you turn it around you see this is the back of your work the start is at the left the stitch marker or your end of your stitch is on the right it's very simple but this mistake is commonly made what your the front of your work and what the back of your work is especially if you have a very long trellis um i don't use stitch markers now there are only 25 win win windows it's not a big project so you always recount recount is knowing you know in two, three, and in two, three, four, five, 25 windows is there and ready to start with my alternate color or my accent color how you want to call it i don't know i just got the habit and call it my accent color might be the alternate the terminology um, doesn't matter as long as you know what i mean so this is the bottom of your work here with my little stitch marker and the front of your work that's all, just to explain back and front. 